This is episode 43 of Storm oh, King's Thunder, man. Wow. That's amazing. I think it's 43. Whew. Amazing. I was going to do sound effects, and then I lost not in lo I lost time, let's say. I just got lost the track track of time, but anyway. Oh, well. Because yeah. you guys ended with an epic decision thing of of making that river, the water, go into the elevator shaft. We didn't do it, though. Well, I, oh, I thought you were going to do it. Yeah, well, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, we didn't do it yet. We talked yeah. talked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that was yeah. that was too epic to end on. Yeah. yeah. I want to do it real bad. <laughs> I'm I'm just worried, Ron. I'm just worried. I don't want to uh, I don't want to hurt Magera. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> we'll be fine. Jeff, what is going on with you? Wait, I'm sitting on a vibration plate. <laughs> What? Wild. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's hilarious, dude. You're supposed to stand on it. Well, you stand on it normally. This seems like from the 1920s. Uh, Is that uh, for constipation? What? <laughs> I'll bring here. Yeah, like energetic constipation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My daughter needs that. She's constipated. Yeah. I don't need it. Pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> except for that one, except for that one emergency surgery night. Although I don't think that would have helped. Uh. Oh my gosh! All right, I'll be normal. <laughs> no, you're cool. Um, yeah, Robbie's scared he's going to kill Magara, so he doesn't want to do it anymore. Oh well, you... I mean, I could I could talk it over with you guys. See, that's the problem with. Making these these decisions and then having a week to stew on it. <laughs> all right, you guys have just had an incredible fight. You you're all I'm yeah you're all a dirty, filthy Velcro. Remember you just you got hacked down and had to be healed up. Um, you've cast all your spells. I don't I don't think you did. You guys get a long rest here. I don't. We were yeah. just about to. You were thinking about it. No, we did. We we you get you said we should be long rest, so we did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did, no? Yeah, we did. Yeah. All right. So you wake up with a bunch of fire giants and yes. stare surrounding you. <laughs> um. Yeah, you guys. Um. The slaves are still there. That's right. The slaves. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to remember all this. I, you know, I I never I didn't even get around to watching the, the last episode. The slaves are there too, and um, they're. They haven't left yet because they're waiting to see what you guys do. But they know they're free now. And they're all kind of healing each other and tending to each other's um, ailments. Um, you know, there's a mix of dwarves, humans, elves, and some gnomes. So, But, um, <clears throat> yeah, you guys wake up the next morning. The sun's shining. The smoldering is gone of the huts. The dead bodies are still there. Yeah. And you said that there, uh, we, we you said there were two ways down. One one through this the tunnels, and one down the elevator. Okay, right? yeah, let me explain. Yeah, this is an elevator shaft, and that keeps going up and down. So it's very noisy here. The water, I sh you know, I wish I would have done the sound effect. It's constantly going, and the the ele elevator shaft, you constantly hear it. You know, going up and down, and it's slowly. It goes slowly. It takes like 15, 30 minutes for the whole. Yeah. So that, so whenever you want to put something down and it goes down and then comes back up. And it's really far down, 500 feet. And then, of course, there's a stairwell that goes down into the caves. Or, and they, they tell you, the, uh, the, the the slave people, yes, this goes into the mines. And we have some slaves down there. and the, Maybe you could rescue them. And, you know, they're just in the mines down there. And, um, but they, 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 they will come up. They will come up and, um, you know, we can quickly take them. And if there's any of the... Of the orcs or ogre, fire orcs or ogres, you could dispense with them. <laughs> oh, um, we can. Huh? Thank you. Um, or, and um, there's also an extern uh, on along the mountainside is also uh, a stairwell that goes down as well. Over that goes to the front door, right? Yeah, yeah down below. And they yes, that's that's the stairs that leads down to the manticore layer, and the um, and then below that is the giant's door. Um. Hey Robbie, one thing that you can yeah. do if you don't want to kill Megara with water, do you still have that uh, magic ward spell? We could put some 
food on the thing and 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 drop a word on it and so when they pick it up and try to eat it ba-boom. Oh, that's really smart i could do that i could try to commune with my god again again yeah i can do it uh, i don't suffer any penalties if it's, a, if it's after a long rest you want to do it see if you what do you think me. see if you kill yeah if, if you're worried about killing megara then you should maybe figure out if you're going to kill megara all right all right, I'm going to cast a commune as a ritual. Uh, I'm going to go over here and burn down the last one of the last <laughs> huts. Okay. So, you you uh, uh, roll your religion with with okay. I'm kind of you're going to have to outroll me. Sure. Here. That's fair. Uh Cast guidance on myself. Uh, thirteen. Uh, fourteen. <laughs> okay, you. I'm not even gonna let you know. You don't have to. What's the spell? Is like a fourth level spell or something? Uh, yeah. You fifth. You, okay, so you. I'll, I'll be nice, and you don't have to cast cast it or okay. expend it because he, you don't. You can sense that he's not gonna respond again this is like okay you know yeah that's what i figured the same thing he's like not interested he's like you know? i already told you <laughs> you just see okay. fire and you know the <laughs> fire realm but he's not present well at least i got to put a building on fire uh <laughs> i go over to my teammates and i kind of tell them yeah no one answered uh busy signal so what do you guys what do you guys think what do you think griffin I you're a smart cast, guy i can cast augury too which is a first level Second level uh, ritual spell. Maybe. Because yeah. you never got an answer last time. I never got an answer. So, well, can I, why don't I cast Augury? And it's just, a, it's just uh, Ron, it's just a, I ask one question about a specific course of action we're going to take in the next 30 minutes. And then you say, that will produce wheel for good results, woe for bad results, wheel and woe for good and bad results. Will? Wheel. Wheel? Wheel? W E A L. Wheel meaning good. You mean well? It's an old English term well. for well, yeah, basically. Wheel. Wheel. Wheel or woe. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to cast that spell. It takes a minute, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort of sit down and... Do I have anything fun in my... Yeah, I have my vile components, and I have my... Uh... Oh, I'm going to take out my, um, my, my, my rod and the, and the tentacle rod, and it's going to, like... I'm gonna make it go around my head, the tentacles, and dip into the my vile components and eat the vile components of the tentacles. And then I'm gonna say, Oh great patron. <laughs> yes, I actually it doesn't I'm not actually calling my patron, it's just it's just a spell. It's like a it's like a cast of bones or something like that. But um if Robbie, oh, sorry, if uh, Razia, <laughs> oh. who's that? If Razia <laughs> redirects the, wind at wind, the river and down the elevator shaft, will it be wheel or woe? Um. <laughs> I, don't I just know. imagine like a <laughs> like a like a plinko wheel, like a wheel of fortune yeah. wheel. <laughs> Uh, is there not? Is there, is there a third option for that? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's both wheel and woe, or nothing. Nothing for results that aren't especially good or bad. Yeah, that's, no, it's a, 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 you. You get a sense that it, whatever it is, is intense, but you can't tell what intent, which way the intensity is going, or what it is. You can't tell if it's good or bad. Yeah. Let you just get like a huge. Blast of steam, and you're confused, and you're you're stuck in this steam, and you're not sure what's going on. And time passes, and then it ends. That, that let's, you know. Let's let's flood this place, man. Where do you want to do your uh, your your ward? They wanted to they wanted to kill. They were gonna kill the the queen of the dwarves. Not cool, right? Not yeah. Cool. I'm just not sure. I mean, we're strong to go down there and just beat these guys up. I feel like, but I don't. I'm yeah, just but worried. if they've if they've built the thing, then we need to find a way to stop it. 
Sure. And we can't like send you back up the elevator to come cast this spell. That's true. What, what, hey, I have a good idea. Let's what ride the river down. <laughs> what, wait, I, have a good idea. I cast you, water walk wait, and wait, then wait, wait, control wait, wait, water wait, wait. and surf wait, wait, down wait, the river. Wait, 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 wait. I have a good idea. Yes. I have a good idea. What Surfing you, Raziak. What if you cast the, that, that control water spell into the ward and then put the ward, you can do that, right? And then put the ward by the river. And then if we can if we can communicate with the slaves, they can then activate the spell. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. What is it's, it does? Are you sure? I don't think I can yeah. put that. Yeah, you can put anything in that ward. What's it what's the spell called? Uh the uh, the the ward spell? Yeah. Um I'm I'm trying I'm sliding up my thing right now. Uh, ward? Yeah, baby. Uh warding is it warding bond? No. Uh, can't find it now. Glyph of warding? Glyph of warding, that's it. Yeah, so I thought glyph of warding was just gave you options. Like, oh, it can explode, no, no, no. it can freeze. Check this out. It's so cool. You can add, when you, ca you, you, you can store oh, a prepared right. spell of third level or lower in the glyph by casting it as part of creating the glyph. The spell must target a single creature or area. When the glyph is triggered, the stored spell is cast. The spell affects an area, the area centered on that creature that where, wherever they, whatever. The spell, yeah. So you can cast, if, if it's a, th is it a third level lower spell, control water? Control water is fourth level. Uh, so you can, do it. although if you cast at the higher levels, the glyph of warding, you can, you can do it. Um, you can put a spell, that spell into it. And, and then, and then like what I can do is I can give the, uh, I can give the, um, I think I have some sort of like, I can send my eagle up or I can communicate my eagle or I can like, how far can I communicate with my eagle run? Is it like just 30 feet or whatever? Or if we can find a way to like communicate with the slaves, we can like then go do it. And they can like hit the glyph and the water will go down. That could be cool. Maybe. What are we trying to see down there? Cause, uh, I can do, I can look through the eyes of an animal. Oh yeah, maybe we should do it, scout it out and see what we're gonna be dropping the water on. Cause if it's just like Bagheera in a cage down there, I'm gonna feel pretty bad dropping this river on. Yeah, true. But that, I don't think she would be stored at the lowest level. Is that where this, this just goes right? Yeah, she might be though. And it would be a pretty poorly designed place if it didn't have <laughs> some sort of water outlet. So it's not like it's gonna drown people. It's just gonna ruin some stuff. Yeah, and maybe even break her free. What if it breaks her cell? And well, my thing is like we should see. Robbie, Robbie wants to check it out first, but I'm saying if we go down there and we have the glyph, then we'll be in a position to attack when the water when we the water comes down and like douses the fire giants, and then we can like immediately attack rather than like doing it before we go down. You know what I mean? That I was my thought. I think it's a great idea. I also don't want to be down there when the water. Yeah, I don't want to be down there when the water comes down either. Yeah, but but we when we might be able to get in a position like if, if those tunnels come out to like a ledge overlooking the forge or something, then all of a sudden we go do it now and the water comes down and I mean we don't have to do it. You just have, you just waste a fourth level spell slot. You know. I I say I say we just go down. Okay. <sighs> what do you guys say? I think it's your call. It's your spell. It's your call, man. Yeah. What do you say, Gabby? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have to I have to listen to my wife. We'll go, I guess we're going down. You guys are married? I didn't know I didn't miss that episode. <laughs> it was a secret wedding. Um yeah, I don't I I it's as dope as as it would be. Yeah. I, I don't feel I don't feel safe risking it, especially when it's something that's kind of counter to my nature too, right? right? Like with the ice giants, it was one thing. It was like, yeah. okay, this is definitely gonna be good. Now it's risky and it's water. I'm like, ah, okay, yeah. Cool. I'm too small. If there, if down there is water, I'm gonna <laughs> dead. Yeah, you're you're gonna die. You suck at swimming. And you don't want to do the the ward on a, on some food. I actually like that. I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. You guys want to try that? Yeah, let's do that. It sounds okay. good. And then when we we set it we start, started setting it to go down as we go down the tunnels and maybe maybe we'll get down there when the elevator is coming to the bottom. Yeah. You know what I mean? What spell do we put on it though? Let's look at the glyph of warding, buddy. Yeah. 
You cast a spell. Uh, yeah, so you can. Well, you could just do explosive runes, right? Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. But you, there's also you could also put a spell on it that like like a sleep spell or a, a area of effect spell. When the glyph of trigger, the store spell is cast. I think I'm gonna do. Um, I think I'm gonna do exploding, uh, exploding glyph of five d eight. Uh, what do you guys think? Acid damage. Um. Yeah, acid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Or, or cold damage. Can you do cold damage for fire giants? I already checked. Oh, you can. I didn't even see it there. Yeah, so uh, uh, I'm just going to do acid. Okay. I feel like cold might be too uh, too far against my religion. You can further refine the trigger so the spell activates only under certain certain circumstances or according to physical characteristics. So, so like if we pick it up, we won't trigger it. But if a giant picks it up, they will. Mm. But time. some, but some of the things down there are orcs and ogres. Well, yeah, but I'm saying if 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 you want to like make it so it's just if they pick it up, it's fine. They'll like bring it to their leader, and then then it explodes when the giant touches it. You know what I mean? Can it stay on the food though? That's what. I'm... Yes. yes. Oh, so really? Isn't it, like, isn't it like a password? Kind of thing. You, you you can you can do a password to it as well. So there's a there's a, it's a pretty complicated spell. You decide what triggers a glyph when you class a spell. Uh, you have to cast it on a surface. The most typical triggers include touching or standing on the glyph. So if you have to touch it, right, removing another object covering the glyph, approaching within a certain distance of the glyph, or manipulating an object in which the glyph is inscribed. The glyph. I'm not sure if I can cast it on the food though, because it, here yeah. it just says a uh, surface area like a, a table or a wall or floor. Well, the only object you can do is something that can be closed or open like a chest or a book. Yeah, so like, well, you can, I mean, I'm sure the food's on some sort of like in a basket or something. You can probably describe it on the, on the basket. I mean, like, okay. I don't understand. I don't see why you can't describe it on a cake. You could ask Ron. Okay. You know, but like, just what do you think, Ron? Can we do that? Into a hunk of meat. <laughs> can we put it on some food, Ron? Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, they they don't really have anything, you know, to give. Um, yeah. I mean, you they've got stuff, but nothing that they've prepared for the giants yet. Oh, but I've got forty five pounds of food and thirty gallons of water. That's right. You just created that. Yeah. He, yeah. Oh, you can create some. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just put it that, and then and then you can make you you can actually decide what triggers it. It could be like someone eats the food and then it's triggered. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to cast um, create food and water, 45 pounds of food onto the platform, onto the elevator. And then I'm going to cast my Glyph of Warding on it as well. Uh, and my Glyph of Warding, I'll make it so that if somebody picks up the food, it will uh, activate the explosion. It will be 5d8 acid damage. Okay. Uh, so think this through. Then, then when he gets down there, what do you, you know, the slaves like, well, or what? Have you, whatever. I'm gonna let you guys figure this out yourself. Yeah. So. I mean, the food. They ask, well, let's, I'm gonna ask the slaves. This food is for the giants, right? You mean when? You mean when we give them things? Yeah. Yeah, like they put their offerings on the elevator and it goes down and up. Yes, right? but then we take it to where they want it. Oh, I thought they just, uh, they go down with it. The yaks, oh, I, or depends on the yaks or slaves go down, or, or whoever is there, or maybe the orcs. Depends on what it is and when it is. Mm. See, we have to hurt, but it has to be quickly taken off the, the platform for it would start rising again. Yeah, that's true. What if what if I give up, uh, do we have any lordly or noble, it or the noble items? Maybe we like, send down as an item. I have like a bunch of merchant items from the last thing. Yeah, maybe you send down like a merchant item and, and just and just like say give this to uh, give this to Keeps Off though. Yeah. Well, you can tell they're all scared. They don't. <laughs> they're <laughs> way too afraid to do anything. Can we put it with a note, Ron? Because I think um, I think uh, Griffin. Griffin, Griffin knows giant, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. 
Oh, he, I thought he did. Or oh, George. Oh, oh, George. George, yeah. George knows too. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, his real life name sounds like a fantasy name. Yeah, Gri- Griffin, let's switch those. His fantasy names. Griffin like the Slayer. Oh, my, my real name is from now on George. George, George. the editor. <laughs> <laughs> George, but George knows Giant. Could we write a note in Giant being like a gift for Duke Zalto and it's like an item? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Um, one sec. You uh, uh, yeah. tell me what you do because I don't know what you guys are doing. Or, you know, if you got well, I'm, I'm okay, not. But, but this note, this note doesn't fix the problem, right? Like, there still has to be somebody there to like be at the elevator shaft to get it, right? Like, if they're not going to get the food, then they're not going to get the note. What was that? What was that? Was that Yoda? Oh, sorry. That would be awesome, Robbie. Yeah. You know what would be awesome is if, if you like, if, you, if we send something down that's really special, right? And that like the, the Geeks also would like, like, and then he grabs it and like has it by him, you can make the trigger word like, I don't know, like Griffin or something like that. And then when you say the trigger word, it explodes right next to him if he has it. You know what I mean? Oh, that's right. But what would he want? We don't have anything he really wants them. Mm. Would he send around one of the conch shells, or is that too risky? We could. You'd, You'd be, be like, spells. hey, I know what this is. I've got one of these. Do these spells, other than explosion, that like it could, could affect a single person that would destroy him? I don't know about destroy him, because he's probably a pretty, pretty big level boss, but uh, not really. Yeah. Not really. The thing is, most of my spells are designed to shoot fire. Right. So, you, know, you know what's really special we could send down? What? Water. I thought you were going to say Gibby. <laughs> She's like oh, a living so glyph. Day. She's like a living glyph. She just like activates and starts smashing. Dress, dress her up as a slave and send her yeah. down there. Yeah. <laughs> she could look like a, one of the slaves because there are gnome slaves. That's too dangerous. Well, any one of you for, could really. For them. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> infiltrate that way. We could infiltrate. We could, we could all try to disguise ourselves as slaves and infiltrate. Although a tiefling might not, might not be good. Rare slave. Um, okay. Well, do we have any items you think he'd like that we could send down and put the on? I don't know how many lordly items are we have. I've only got merchant right now. Yeah, I don't think I have any. I have, a, I have bread, of, bread of sustenance. I will give him something. An arrow to the heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll, let's roll initiative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have potion uh, and strength. Well, I, I mean, I don't think I don't think this plan is going to work because so we won't have anything that he wants. I say we just go down there, guns blazing. <laughs> you don't want to try it? style, baby. No, he's tried on, on food. We should just maybe do your first plan. I mean, Ron seemed to think it might not work, but what if we just send food down, like, without the okay. stick, see what happens. Ron didn't yeah. say anything. Yeah, we, well, he said think through it. Which made us doubt it. I feel like there's gonna be I didn't say that. <laughs> I think there's gonna be slaves down there and they're gonna pick it up and they're gonna get their faces blown up. <clears throat> no, but, but we, we, we can say the trigger could be eating it, right? Mm. So the trigger could be like if, if only and, and also the trigger I think you can make the trigger if a giant touches it. Can we make that the trigger, Ron? Yeah, you can you can refine the spell according to what? The characteristics. Make it so that the trigger is a giant touching it. The uh, what with the food? Yeah. That's I yeah. don't have yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I um, I'll cast I'll cast my spell. I'll summon my food. Um, we can put it in a basket. I'm well, the platform. It's like a big elevator platform. Like literally, yeah. a giant or two could stand on that thing. That's how big it is. Uh, and just all, to... I'm just curious, Ron. It's all it's all black now. It's supposed to be all black, right? The screen. Oh no. Okay. Um, the heck. I just thought because we were at, we are like writers block. That was our representation of it. I was, yeah. um, I was changing some stuff, but not on that one. 
I figured because we're That's in a weird. farming village, we should be able to find like a food gonna, basket or a maybe wagon. I got to reset here. Oh, there we go. A food basket or a wagon that we could put the food in. Yeah, they got they got some carts there that and that they could, you know, right? You, you they're there that you can put the the delivery in. Okay, so I'll do that, and then okay. I will cast you, the. You glyph can see it now, right? On, yep, right. I'll cast the glyph on the food. So it will be it will be triggered once it is touched by a giant. Okay, the the yeah the slaves go. Who who's going to move it off the platform? Oh yeah, move it onto the platform or off the off platform? the platform. Well, <laughs> that's the think through part. <laughs> we could just send it down. Can we dress Gibby up like a slave? Because she's pretty brave. Like slaves. If Gibby wants to. So can we, you're going to take the elevator down, push the cart off the elevator and come back up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's in. Look. But he's going to kill you guys off all one by one. <laughs> and then Magara! I've, done, I've come to you. Plan all along. Or we could just convince these slaves to take it down. Oh no, they're uh, not. They seem. Eat. Yeah, Ron said they're really scared. Or we could just kind of down. They're weak. See what happened. It's gonna come right back up. Where? Maybe I not go back. <laughs> I'm gonna stay with his you. Just babies. you just hear. Ching <laughs> ching. <laughs> 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 Uh, sounds like it's going well down there. <laughs> She's all right. All right, tell me what you do. Or okay, do you, you I know, else? cast no, no. my spell on the wagon. I ask Gibby. I ask Gibby to take the wagon down the elevator. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the first time I've heard her speak in this entire. I, know. I didn't know what Gibby's voice sounds like. I thought she was mute. <laughs> mute or mute? Mute. Yeah, yeah I thought she yeah, was mute. mute. <laughs> Um, we haven't rested, huh? We're not resting. Yeah. No, no, you guys have resting. had a long rest. You did? Right. Yes. Cool. Yeah. You hung out at the village full of dead yak folk. Nice barbecue. But it just seems like they just do their thing up there. You know, there's no, there's no like interaction with you know the giants or they're just you know. So it does. You do have a sense of you know it could go weeks without anything going on oh. between them and the giants. You know. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know what I could do. I could I could create an unseen servant as well. Well, it's five hundred feet down. I don't know if that matters or not. Yeah, it says once on each you, you can. Um, the servant can perform simple tasks such as fetching and blah, blah blah. Once you give the command, once you give the command, the servant performs the task to the best of its ability until it completes a task and waits for the next command. What, is there? There's not a range on. Them? No, I, I can't communicate it with, with that beyond sixty feet. But once I give it the, the the thing, it just does it and then waits for my next command. Oh, oh wait, if I if it command the server to perform its task, we'll move it more than sixty feet away from me. This spell ends. Never mind. Oh. All right, sorry. Hmm. Cool. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, Gibby can take it down. Yeah, you're still waiting for the platform anyway, so. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. So you guys wait. Put the food on there on the card. Gibby. Uh, who dresses? Actually, she looks like a slave just based on how I she looks. Say, she's already wearing rags. <laughs> she, but she has to give up the axe. What do you do with the axe, Gibby? I have to. I have to live here. Yeah, because you, you can't. If you take well, it down, they're gonna know you're not a slave. I don't mean you have to give it up, but you have to. You know, you guys. She's got a big axe right in front. You know. Yeah. What do you guys do? Or what does she do? What do, do you want you me to hold it for you? Yeah, hold it. Okay. I'm <laughs> lost and I kill you. Okay. <laughs> I'll hold her axe for now. You could strap it onto uh, the lizard if you want. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's big now, right? Yeah. Yeah. I put a, I, uh, I, I tie it to the side of, uh, of uh, Ash's uh, saddle. Uh, uh, Gibby and uh, uh, Vilka, roll your. No, not Vilka. Gibby, roll your insight. Oh no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
got to go get it. <laughs> All right, reroll. Only counts if it's on the table. Just roll again. Plus. Plus. What's your wisdom? Two. Two? I guess. Yeah. No, no. Scroll down. Inside. Oh, 13? 13 total? Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing. Oh my god. Okay, so she gets on the platform. Quit. You know, you guys got about a minute before it starts. The gears start switching, and then it starts. So they they know how to quickly load and unload things, and then it starts to look. Everyone's cool. She's starting to lower with the cart of food and uh, the shimmering red or green rather. It's on the food, right? Yeah. The shimmering rune. That starts to fade out. All right. You see uh, her head disappears before the mound of cart disappears below the brick. <laughs> <laughs> I say, uh, yeah. Hey, Tristan, hey Velcro, can, can you keep an eye on her? Yeah. With one of your animal friends? Keep an eye on the cart. On GB. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. I, you want me to go down too? Because I could pass for a slave, don't you think? Yeah. Kind well, of she's already on her way down. Well, yeah. she's not. I mean, she's, you know, a few feet down. away. Yeah, she's not that far down. Yes, no. Valkyrie. What do you think? Should I come? Should I go? Should I go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll jump on. Sweet. Roll your inside, Velcro. Yeah. Me do something? Yeah. Oh, ro roll your insight. Roll, roll. Okay, sorry. Sorry. I don't know. Looks like a 21. 22. All right, so you leap down, and you're kind of like holding your bow, you know? You kinda, you're kind of realizing that you look pretty armed for a slave, and, you know, and she looks, and she obviously doesn't have her weapon. Um, but you also, 20, you rolled 20, so you also like, well, you could just hide it under, you know, it's a big platform. You could maybe hide, you know, yeah. put something there and hide it underneath it or something if you needed to. But you got to, you got to quick thinking because it's, it's, it's going down, you know. All right, I'll stash it underneath, uh, like maybe in the pile of food and so that I can grab it if I have to. Well, she is going to quickly push the, the cart off and leave it there. I'm assuming that's where. Else on the oh, back up to us. Mm. Yeah, all right. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, he's going to throw it back up to us. I'm, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, okay? Don't make sure you, you know, I'm just yeah. just saying that you look like you got a weapon, you know, you're armored and not like a slave. That's all I'm saying. So you decide what you want to do. But yeah, you throw the bow back up to them, but I still have some kind of dagger or something. I don't have it written down, so I guess I don't have anything. I have a knife. I'm like a little elf of the woods. Yeah, I don't mind you having a knife. Yeah, okay. One D four devastating damage. Yeah. Um, okay, so they're lowering down. They're like twenty feet now. I throw the bow up. Yeah, that's fine. Um, well, I mean, you're after you threw the bow. Now you're twenty feet. You, okay, so they're going down 30 feet, 40 feet. Doo -doo, and you kind of see them getting down into the shadow, uh, you know, away from the sun part of it, the rays. And you guys. Hey, Gibby, I say to Gibby, it's okay. It's okay. It's you be okay. You two okay. rely. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be okay. No worries. I protect you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got the knife. I got a knife. I'll show you the knife. <laughs> okay, so you re it's, it's going down and down, and then you realize it stops. And there, it stops at sort of like a level of open caves and mines. 
kind of sh- you see some tunnels going off and it just stops there for a little bit but you can hear the gears are still going the chains are still and then it starts to move again and it goes down so you start you know leaving that level or those tunnels and it does it again after a few minutes you know like to another level mm-hmm. and you're now in in the mines and um it's dark who you both have dark vision I mean, it's not dark, full dark, because it's still light coming in from the top, but... But, yeah, you both have dark vision? Yeah. I yeah. have. Okay. It's going down again, and you can start... Is it with us? I forget. What's that? Or is it just us and the food and the cart? Say it again? Are there slaves with us? Or no, no, no. Just, us just you and guys. The food? I have dark vision for 60... Um, I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace on us. Uh, you can start hearing down below is some ding, 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 clink, 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 you know. And it's definitely the sound of, you know, digging or picking or whatever. And as you get closer, you can definitely hear. It's definitely sounds like slaves picking away at in the mines. Oh, well, well, look, you hear that now? Yeah, someone's on the platform. They're on the platform. Go, 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 go to the hurry up. Let's go. So you see, as you're getting closer, you guys can look down. And you see down there, there's slaves working in these mine shafts, but there's some orcs and an ogre looking up at you, waiting for you, like where you're going to stop on that level. Cool. You got about five, you know, three, three to five minutes before you reach it. Cool. Say to get Gibby, what's the plan again? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Throw you. Don't die. <laughs> Throw you in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do? We are down. Are they all the, are they all the way down, or are they still? No, no. You're coming to that platform, and you see yeah three orcs and an, a giant ogre. Not a giant, an ogre. Sorry. All right. They come. They quickly get onto the platform and they reach for the cart. Oh yeah, it's feeding time! <laughs> and they start. So get out of the way! Get out of the. They, they just, sh- you know, shoo you off. Don't be nervous. Only explode. Hey, Razak, you're out there. Okay. We 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 can talk with this uh, ogre. Yeah. Yeah. I don't speak cults. <laughs> They're just speaking uh what I'm saying. Right, right, you know, get out of the way. <laughs> we just come to throw this food. What? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah, here's your food for you. Delivery service. Yeah. Here's your food. So they they just pull the cart off. You get your cart later. <laughs> they start fumbling around with the food. It's real food, right, Razak? Like, it's not, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, how do they make this? They just start chopping it. You see, the slaves are all like, mm. um, the platform starts to move again. It's going down. Down. More down. Oh, yeah, you're only like halfway. Oh. Oh my God, we are in the. How do I say? Yeah. Hell? Hell? Yeah, you're going to it. <laughs> I'll be right back. So they Keep have going. the card, they got the food, and you're you just you two standing on the platform as it's going. And what are we trying to do again? <laughs> Find out something and tell the team? No, I don't know now because we're going more down. And the food what is are we gone. Doing? I'm scared. <laughs> you're at Me so the, the whole tunnel is about five hundred feet and you're at about two hundred and fifty feet. And it's, there's these different levels that you, your platform seems, seems to stop at. And then it continues on after a half up, you know, like 30 seconds. 
Stop. Have some food still or not? No, they took the whole cart. You finally get to the bottom. You get where there's stone now, like giant stone all around you, not just a mine shaft, you know? There's red stone all around you, and it's hot. And you can feel the heat now, and you're starting to sweat. And, and basically, you... you um, Let me... Uh, pass, just, pass without trace on us. I'm just going to describe it to you. Okay, you see, as you're coming down, you, let me, I just want to read what this is real quick. I, I should have, I should have read this book. I, I didn't read it yet. Okay, yeah, that's what that is. You see, um, as you're coming down, all around you now is a metal, it's called a gantry, which is like a metal level where, you know, you walk along the metal gate grating. Okay, you, you're passing through it. And you can't. You could. You could maybe with your dexterity try to leap onto the gantry, and that gantry you can tell seems to overlook a huge forge right there. Some sort of huge room, vaulted room. But it's all smoky and hot, and you guys are just in a kind of a sweat drenched state. And um, it, but it passes through that. It doesn't stop there. It passes through that to a, you know forty feet down now, even another forty feet. And then you get to the bottom, and there's this huge circular room with uh, 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 where, where is it? Okay, it, it goes one way to where that huge forge-looking space is, where you can now walk there. It's not far. And then to your right is another huge passageway, and there's like ta long tables there, like a dining hall, you know, giant tables, and. Um, you know, there's fires in the in the area, so it's kind of lit, but very still got those dark shadows of reds. And, but it's freaking hot in there. It'll both of you roll your constitution. Cast paths without trace too. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah, what does it do for this kind of place? Is this a check or save? It, it's a save. What'd you get? Go up. You're safe. Thirteen for me. Okay, you're hot. Up. You're and safe. You're, Great. Oh. You're one level of exhaustion. So nineteen. Uh, she got nineteen. Okay, she's she's just sitting there sweating, but feeling good. But <laughs> no, um, you're not feeling so good. So pass without trace makes us plus ten to our Hiding? stealth checks. Okay. Which we haven't done yet. But. Right, and uh, yeah. Is that though? In, but is it just in natural terrain or anything? I guess that's in anything. Yeah. Okay, so you you come to the bottom there, and that's it. and the platform just sort of sits there, and you can hear like you know, tang, 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 tang. you feel like there's activity beyond that this giant corridor into that red hueey mist or smoke or steam beyond the next room, and there's a slow huge banging of a hammer that's close in that room, and there's you can tell there's an echo of more beyond, and you can hear them, you can hear a. The fire in some kind of a chamber or something beyond there. What do you do? So there's like a the first doorway we can see. Corridor. There's two okay. corridors. One to a huge dining hall to that way. And then the, the main corridor leads to that forge or whatever, you know, that, that smithing hall. Are there people in the dining hall? No. And you see huge chains and, and metal things across your view in the forge area. You know, huge metal pieces. You know, that you don't it's so big you you don't see all of it. You just see it you know like a like a like a uh, column or something. But it's metal. The platform starts to the platform and the chain start to like it does, or it starts doing a reverse thing. Is the platform moving? Back yeah, up? It, it's shaking. It's starting to catch on to the chain reversal. Yeah. Oh, uh, so we're going up. Um. 
So, Chef? I want to do a memory check to see what we're doing down here. What's <laughs> <laughs> the, the plan again? Yourself. That's what you yeah. get for doing your little <laughs> meditative squealy. check to recall what we're doing. Okay, Pain go ahead, check. yeah. Intelligence right, check. Unless there's a memory skill. Plus one. Okay, no, I don't remember shit. <laughs> right. I'm going with her. What are we doing? You're, uh, you're, uh, what is this? What's the guy? Uh, oh my gosh, I'm going blank. Frodo, Sam, Pippin, or yeah. Mary, whoever said that. Right, where are we going? Okay, so. Hey, guys, I hope Oka is okay. I hope he hasn't forgotten what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> It's 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 um is it an hour or half an a half an hour an hour when they finally return back up now when you guys get, I'm assuming you guys are on the platform as it rises right as it's going up you guys get back on or stay on yeah I think so okay you go up and you go up to the gantry again and <laughs> is this late again. You go, the, yeah. Hold on. You gonna you, you you see the top of the forge? Roll your perception real quick. So bad. Bad. Yeah. Okay. You guys are just. All right. You get up to where the slaves are, and you see that the uh, the slaves are hammering away. The orcs and the ogre they're off eating. The cart is laying there on its side. If you want to quickly grab it while the platform stopped. Yeah. But. Or not. Whatever you want to do. Huh? I think I'm frozen in place. I don't know. what. I don't think I can make that move. <laughs> I rolled, but I rolled five. No, you're, the roll you just rolled was perception. Oh. Yeah, you, you can do whatever you want. You tell her to be quiet. All right. Uh, I just try to stand still and hope no one sees me. <laughs> All right, you get back up to the top. Gabby says she's gonna leave the cart there. Yeah. Okay. She left it. It's not a big deal. It's, you know, it's just one of the yak carts. All right, you guys are back up to the top with a wonderful tale. The tale. All right. I see. I see. Gi I see. Gibby and Valco come. I'm like, so did it work? Did the plan <laughs> did the work? Did the giants take the food? Yeah. Did did, did uh, Duke Zalto bite the apple and explode? Um. Well, we they took the food and then it kept going down. Oh. And then we got all the way to the bottom, and then we saw fire in the hallway, and then yeah. we went back up, and then they ate. Oh, I think they ate all the food, and then we now here we are. Oh, wait! What, what? Sorry, We're real, I'm, I'm sorry. I do want you to keep talking. The glyph you had it. What was the trigger? Uh, if a giant touches it. Oh, jeez. Well, a giant did. Ah! <laughs> do we hear like a boom? The ogre is a giant. Yeah, so we hear a boom then. What? What I'll is? Lose, what is the trigger? Yeah, the giantism, giant, giantism, or something. Yeah. Um, what? I'm they, pretty sure. It's a twenty-foot radius explosion. And it's uh, 5d8 acid damage. 20 foot radius explosion, 5d8 acid damage. This oh, is spicy! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it burns! <laughs> <laughs> That's what they hear is whether they're down below or coming back up. Okay, well, I nice guess we've got a, a nice little intro. We might as well go down there. They've got an appetizer. Let's go down there and give them the main course. These uh, slaves are really angry and hungry. What slaves? <laughs> hey Ron, how fast does the uh, elevator move? I mean, it's slow. It's it's uh, it goes slow. Like five feet a second or something like that. No. Five, uh, let's say 20, 20 feet. It takes. Uh, 
I'll say 10 feet. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah. Five feet a second, yeah. Cool. Or maybe a little, maybe two seconds, something like that. But, but slow. I mean, enough that you could jump off it, you know, if you wanted to. Right. I mean, you're not going to get away from anything <laughs> on, that, on that platform. <laughs> It's like a bulldozer speed. <clears throat> it's one of those rollers, you know, that speed. It's big into No! Oh, yeah, <laughs> Austin yeah. Powers. <laughs> yeah. I to... um, what do you guys say? We just all head down or what? Well, there's. Yeah. Uh, I, I sort of want. We were going to go down this. Uh... Oh, you want to go to the back path? That's what we. I th yeah, that's what I thought we were going to do. Okay. Doing. Well, that. I'm going to. Give uh, Gibby and uh, Velcro back their weapons. Here's your bow, good sir. Yeah, that that stairway just it's circular and it goes down through the mines along with them adjacent to the elevator platform. Oh well, what are you doing, George there. Griffin? <laughs> uh, I, was, I thought I was frozen again. So I was there. Yeah. yeah, whatever you guys want to do. If, we, if you want to sneak down the, the stairwell or go down the thing. It sounds I'm like... I'm down for elevator crew. It sounds like we can get off at one of those for like the first platform and explore too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. What do you guys think? You know what I like about the elevator? What? I'm going to bring in a bunch of arrows with me. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Is as it's coming down, you're just firing, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, this is Raziak. I jump on the elevator. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> How many person can be in the elevator? Where's George going? We had a little cart in there. He's Where gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna go let this guy know the plan. <laughs> Someone ran away. All right. Yeah. That sounds George. quite brave. We'll we'll meet you at the front door at dusk. Oh boy. All right. I'm gonna have to go get another hippogriff or two. Yeah, you got time. <laughs> I shall return. I cast shield of faith on myself just as it goes down. Is it, how long does that last? Ten minutes. Well, it takes fifteen minutes to get down. So. <laughs> oh, does it? Yeah. I thought it was quick. Okay, I, I don't, don't cast shield faith on myself. <laughs> yeah, so 15, 15 minutes divided by five hundred feet. That's the speed. Oh. But I'm but it's well, it stops at at certain levels though. So there's that. Too. Mm, I'll, I'll wait it out. I'm gonna uh, cast uh, Phantom Steed while we're uh, on the elevator. <laughs> Uh, and where's that said, steed gonna appear? <laughs> well, you said the elevator has uh, enough space for like a couple of giants. So I'm yeah. It's big, so. I mean, lied. You lied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. You guys go down. You get, and you can see now where they were talking about this, the, the the slaves, and then the orcs and the ogre. They're like, you know. You can see them down there just standing around in the open cavern. We must free these slaves. Yeah, let's do it. Cause a you distraction. Have, yeah, a they, they see you up there. They're pointing at you. No, not for this. Uh, I mean... Oh. Sorry. I fire an arrow at the guy who's pointing at me. I had no idea you guys were coming here. It's rude to point at people, man. They're hanging out with... Um, they're hanging out with this regular slaves or orc slaves? They're, they're you're got the slaves from the yak folk are mining all around this mining this shaft right here. Oh, okay. And I was gonna launch a fireball, but I don't want to kill those people. Yeah, they're just standing there. Didn't we already kill a bunch? <laughs> those are evil slaves I killed. <laughs> what about the ones in the huts? Those, yeah, that was an accident. <laughs> I didn't know they were there. Innocent bystanders. Yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna use this as the. Um, because you're you're on the platform, you have like 100 feet, 
And it's going down so slowly, you're gonna... You're gonna mess them up. George gets a thousand experience. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'll, I mean, I'll shoot one with my agonizing glass. I just don't know. Is it just on the platform here? <clears throat> As we're going down. You, um, let's roll, um, anyone want to do, um, you know what, I'm going to let you guys have a free attack, because they're just, they don't, they don't think, you know, they, 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 they don't realize that this is happening. Nice. So I, I'm going to, I'm on my top of my steed, and, and make it rear up in the, rear up on the Okay, platform. that's weird. That is weird. Why? That might that might get them to react. I don't know. No, go ahead. Yeah, I'm and, sorry. What are we gonna do? They're they're like not the platforms above them, right? But we can see them. Yeah, you you can see them 100 feet below on the on the ledges there in the mines. On the ledges. All right, I'll I'll blast the, the ogre guy. All right, everybody roll their initiative then. Okay. Initiative. Maybe you get advantage. You see your turn orders, right? You can see your turn things? Yeah. Brutal. Brutal. Who got the two? Uh, is, that, is that you, Sam? I got a five. Yeah. We got two plus three, yeah. You guys put all your numbers in? Uh, Yeah, I got mine in. Gabby, you put yours in? Yep. Yeah. What'd you get? Seven. You roll in you roll advantage, you still only got seven. What were your two rolls? Okay. Velcro, what do you do? Wait, I thought don't I get a free you said we get a free one free attack with the Yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh -huh. well, I was gonna do it in the order of initiative anyway. Well but yeah, but I I shoot and then I then get then I get the order of the initiative, right? No, no, everyone gets it. Free attack. I'm not going to do my guy. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hey, I'll shoot an arrow at the ogre. Okay. Uh, armor class. I'm going to give him a 20 because he has some some shaft coverage. You know? As you guys are angling down in, in your platform. 25 to hit. That's a hit. Nice. Uh, Be ready in your turn. 18. 18 damage. 18, wow. Oh, man. I did that wrong. And uh, how far away are they? Uh, 100 feet. All right. Um, That's all for now. <clears throat> George? George is gonna sharp shoot the sharpest shots. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's like a twenty-three on the ogre. Yes. Okay. Which I just found out is a giant, which means I get to do a little favored enemy damage. Um, Uh, 26 damage. Ow. Yeah, they're, they're like looking up at you guys like, oh, what's going on? You know, they seeing this full platform and then, yeah, you guys are just pummeling them with arrow or pummeling the ogre with arrows. Uh, who's next? Reziak? Yep. I am going to... Are there slaves around these guys? Not not them. super close. They're 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 okay. in their yeah they're in their little areas. If I were to drop a fireball in between these these groups of people, would the slaves get hit or no? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, uh, that's what I'm gonna do then. Okay. Uh, they got a deck save on a nineteen. Nope, deck save on an eighteen. Ogre. Ah. And the orcs. 
Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, or, the, um, the orcs take... Uh, what is it when you're vulnerable? Is it double damage? Yep. Okay. Uh, twenty-seven damage. Ah! Oh wait, well, they got—they got. They got no, I gave up that feat. Oh. Huh? What? Oh. Yeah. They have resistance to fire, so they're—they're—they're they're, they're used to the heat. So, oh, but so I should have kept that feat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right, so you can tell they're just who fire on twenty-seven. Yeah. There. So then they just take straight damage then? I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, one yeah. of them does. The orcs do. The other, the ogre takes half. Oh, okay. Cool. He failed, uh, right? He failed, but he, he's vulnerable. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's got half. Yeah, Yeah. that's cool. Okay, uh, that's it for my turn. All right. Uh, 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 Gibby? Okay. Uh, is that the giant with the big thing? This with guy. The hammer? Yeah, with the hammer. But they're like a hundred feet away, and they're below us. Oh, okay. So you can spit. I can. <laughs> spit. Psh, psh. I don't think you can do anything. You can yell at them. Do you want to yell something at them? No, because Ron didn't let me. Why? He can let you do whatever you want right now. <laughs> you yell at them. hundred feet away, yeah, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, yell at them. Yell something at them. Hey, you guys. <laughs> no, I okay. can't. <laughs> okay. Amanta. Agonizing Blast at the... Whoa. Okay. You got an 11. 20. Oh. What? 20 armor class for the ogre. Oh. Okay. And they, are these other guys a group? Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe I'll switch it up to those guys then. And shoot again. Okay. Well, they have a twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, twenty-six. Yeah, they're in full full armor. They're they're decked out. All right, they get knocked ten feet back. Uh, now you can't see them. Okay. But what was the damage? Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. So now they're under the ledge there, so you can't see them. Uh, now we go into a regular turn, Velcro. But you can see it. So I didn't hit you, the ogre back. Yeah, you can see the ogre. Are we are we closer to them now? You getting a little closer, like uh, eighty feet now. Okay. Uh, I get to roll twice. Uh, twenty six to hit. Boom. Eighteen again. Damage. Oh! He just you guys just plugged him full of arrows. That's awesome. Good job, guys. Well, let me see which way he falls. Let me see if he falls on Gibby. <laughs> From 18. From 18 <laughs> yep, falls off the ledge. He, he falls down. Uh -oh. What was that? Oh, so we hear that from down there? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> yeah, correct. E exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Time to change the music. Okay. All right. The werewolf. George's turn. Uh... You can't see the orcs. I could if I do something bold. Uh, yeah, George is going to leap off of the platform. Oh. <laughs> All right, you, you fall to your death. Well, there's like ground. It's like 80 feet <laughs> to the ground, right? Um... No, 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 it's 80 feet to them, the o o o orcs and ogres. Yeah. Yeah. And they're I'm, standing on ground. Huh? I think there's a they're gap, though. The well, they're in the ledge there. I mean, you can get to the ledge or whatever. That's fine. Yeah. So he doesn't yeah. 
But do, you still have another 100, 250 feet down to the bottom. Right, yeah, they're on, they're ledge. To get to the, the 80 feet ledge. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Get the ledge where they are. That's fine. Yeah. They're just going to jump jump over that way. Yeah. But he you're, only falls 60 feet. Yeah, you're doing the whole weird air thing. But you're moving that way, though. But if I'm but, but since I'm closer, can I then see them now? Yeah. Yeah. Let me shoot. I'm going to give you a uh, disadvantage, though, because it's. You know, you're not on firm ground. Yeah, but it's so cool. <laughs> Okay, roll your, uh, roll your, no, yeah, let's roll your acrobatics. Roll your acrobatics, get above a 15, and you're fine. Uh, I got, uh, 16. Okay. You're cool. Nice. You're kind of just floating um, in the right way. Uh, I am also going to, a uh, bonus action, as I'm falling, cast Lightning Arrow. And I'm going to shoot these guys with a Lightning Arrow. Where's your token? Oh, there it is. Alrighty. Leap of day! Oh, I hope I hit. Oh my god. Please tell me that hits. Armor class 19. I got a unnatural 20. Okay. Woo! Alright. <clears throat> so they are hit with a lightning arrow. Uh, so they're going to take. 48 damage, and they have to make a dex save, or take another 2d8. 4d8? 4d8. I'm gonna roll 48 damage. And that's like the damage, because I hit them. Uh-huh. Um, but on a hit or miss, everybody within a 10-foot radius has to make a dex save. Or they... Or they take okay. another 2d8. So that's area effect, so yeah, that'll, that'll double on them. Uh, okay, so that's... Uh, my DC is 14, by the way. Well, they saved. Oh, man. But they still take... Uh, half damage. Alright, so they're going to take 15 from the initial hits. And... Is that right for resist? They, they take half as much damage on a successful save. So they, su they successfully saved... Does that mean they take full damage if they were vulnerable or not? Or just half damage on, if they save? If they save, I think they... Uh, Does anybody know, know that? I think if they're vulnerable, they take double damage. If they fail. But yeah. if they save, do they take full damage oh. or half damage? That's the part I don't know. I, 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 I would think it would be... Resistance. It's a play. You get that? Yeah. Uh -uh. I always forget that one. I've not, I know I've solved it before, but I forgot. <laughs> I don't know. I rolled 10 either way. So. 10? Okay. Ten. Ten damage, that damage. Type, damage that type is doubled against it. So if the save halves it, then you double that save, I would imagine. So full damage? Yeah, because we're having it and then we're doubling it. So it's just full damage. Yeah, okay, full damage. 10? Yeah, so 25 total. Yeah, okay. All right, they all, you know. Uh, my turn. All right, they see you coming down. Uh, I'm still 20 feet in the air, by the way. What's that? I'm still 20 feet yeah. in the air. I, only, I can only fall 60 feet. Let me see if they got right. throwing blades. Ah. Uh. Okay, like idiots. Uh, let me see if they're smarter idiots. Like idiots, they come up, but they put their shields up like a wall, and they're banging on them like, oh, no, you know, ready to fight you as you meet, as you try to uh, come to the ledge. So, but they're just kind of exposing themselves. But they think they're they're they really do have great shields, great armor, and great blades, and they think that that's enough for them to. <laughs> All right, Razyak. Um, how far are they away from me now? Fifty feet. 50 feet? Oh, I'll, I'll cast. Um, mm, no, I'm sorry, yeah, not 50. Did I, I said 80 last time, right? Yeah. So 60. Okay. Um, I'm just going to cast Sacred <clears throat> Flame on them. Okay. Same same save, deck save, 18. All right, what's the damage? 
Images. Uh, 3D8. Damn, 3D8. Oh, armor, I know. And the armor doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Just closed my roll 20. I'm a different number, I think. Just close my roll 20, sorry. All right, I'll just do the 3d8, right? Or do you want me to wait? Uh, 3d8 plus 5, plus my, my wisdom modifier. I'll be, I'll be back in a second. <clears throat> uh, 11 plus 5, 16. Okay. Sweet. All right. Uh, radiant damage. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Take that. All right. Gibby? Uh, and that's it for me. Um, we still far from the time. Yeah, yeah. You can... 60 feet still. Just wait. Yeah. <laughs> Amanta? You'll get plenty of action soon enough. Freaking Amanta. Belkra? Uh, the orc's still alive? Yeah. All right. Have they gone yet? Have they acted? They could. They, they don't have any throwing weapons. <laughs> so I still get advantage against them. So thanks for that. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, <laughs> so six, 13 to hit. They have a 19 armor class, so. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's more now because they've put up a wall. But whatever. How far away is the wall? I mean, the their shield. Shield the wall, sorry. And uh, is it a tall ceiling where we're at? Yeah, well, you're in a shaft, but they're, they're in the mine, like kind of covered. But you guys are getting close enough that it doesn't, you know... They're, they're they're in full view. Um, all right, I'm gonna hold for now. <clears throat> Done. Okay. I my arrow. I guess George, we were skipping him out to then. Um. All right, so I guess I keep falling, right? Uh, yeah, you're there. You're. Uh, can I go over the shield wall? Do I have enough momentum? Uh, roll your acrobatics again. Okay. Okay. Wherever you are. All right. Is it, are you guys still there? Yeah, yeah we I skipped can... you. Uh, All right. Well, we'll go ahead, Amanda. What do you do? Oh, I'm just gonna. Uh, are, are we, can I see them? Yeah. I'm gonna pound. Can I jump? Can I, can I? Can I use my speed to jump off the thing, or should I just pound them in agonizing glass? I'll pound them in agonizing glass. Yeah, their their armor class is twenty one now because they're using their shields up. They're, they they've got their shields all kind of locked. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Twenty. Twenty one is armor class. Oh, natural twenty. <laughs> Ow. Well, you got a natural one there too, so that counters it. Yeah. <laughs> and that is a twenty two damage. And they get well. I'm gonna. They, they normally get knocked back ten feet, but I don't know what you're gonna do with the next thing. Yeah, yeah. No, they get knocked back really far and slammed into the wall. And awesome. and uh, George, you land and you just see their bodies all crumpled down in front of you. Yes. <laughs> nice. Explore. Let's explore these tunnels. And I and I kick them. <laughs> and you kick them. Huh. All righty. Okay, I wait for the elevator to, to get to the, the platform, and then I climb yeah, back on it. The slaves are all there, and they're like, what happened? You know, what like, I just ask you, George. Who are you? Don't do this. It's too dangerous. I say... It's too dangerous for the adventurers of George and his heroic companions. We're here to kill the fire giants. But the what? Free what of the yak folk? They will kill you. Oh, we already killed them. What? The, yak folk. the other I've slaves. What? How are the other slaves? They're fine. Yeah, they're most up there partying. We made them a huge feast. You should go up and join them. Yeah. Wait to wait. Yeah, till, I'm gonna say wait till this elevator goes down. When it's coming back up, hop on and ride at the freedom, babies. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. All right, they're all like. Well, they're unsure still, but they want to celebrate, but they're weak and all. But anyway, okay. Do so we you... have to like break their shackles or something? Or... No. Okay. They'll go. All right. So you uh, get back on the platform. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, wait, can we? What? Is there anything to explore? Or is this the wood cavern? 
Oh, it's just the mines. I mean, you know, it's all it's all right around there. They're just they're mining um, for iron. Right, but there's no like ca like passageways we can go down and explore anything. Well, the the stairway leads to the back of the forge, and the shaft leads to near the forge, we believe, near the dining hall. The right, stairs so will lead to the back room by the kitchens. I yeah, wouldn't that be a good idea, guys, to go to the back, the back of the floor so we can sneak in, or do you want to go right to the right down to the? the Let's just go right to the heart. <laughs> you go to the heart. All right. If he's gonna betray you, might as well just get that out out of the way. <laughs> yeah. George has to use his ring of feather falling, which he has to use once every once every session, so he's happy. Okay. Good. Uh, oh, uh, you were you did use it, right? Yeah. George, is that what you said, George? George. Yeah, he used it. Yeah, he used it. I froze. Oh, he did. Is he, he said he used it, so he's happy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. All right. Use it so it's happy. All right, so you guys, what are you guys doing? I don't know what you're doing. Uh, right, right in the elevator, back okay, down. I feel like I missed something. We're, uh, we're, we're gonna ride the elevator in at the bottom. But you heard the part about the stairs, though. I heard. I, I want to go down the stairs, but I'm I'm bowing to the general wisdom. Yeah, I, I'm just making sure everyone just heard because I George says the. Okay. I, I don't know if Griffin was frozen or not. Well, he is now. <laughs> I all I see is a. Light of a cigarette <laughs> and a black screen. Always. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we split the party? <laughs> yeah, I can pull up two maps and flip between them, no problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting sick of these. Yeah, me too. I, you know what? I'm following Raziak because it's his, his, his domain. So whatever Raziak wants to do. All right. I'm going to take a quick break. I just. I'll be right back. Okay. Raziak wants to get in guns blazing. Sounds good to me. Guns are blazing, spells flying. Alright. I have to figure out some good spells. So what kind of demon should I summon at this 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 session? Something something like really unique in its appearance. Nothing like yeah, exactly. nothing like a lizardy <laughs> character. I think uh, so here are my options. I have the Kazmi again, which which will like has this crazy drone and makes people fall unconscious. So I can send that guy ahead and see if we can make people fall unconscious, which is really cool. I can summon a Brock, which is a vulture man hybrid, oh. which can like make some cool attacks. And also it spreads toxic spores and spreads in the corners and they have to be they become poison. And also has a stunning screech. And each uh, they, they'll be stunned if they can hear it within 20 feet of the rock. Wow. Pretty good. I like that one. Yeah. yeah and, then, cool. and then the trickster mage, which, uh, which would be my one. <laughs> and then, uh, what's and, the tricks? Is that what you used on me the other day when we were playing on Tuesday? Yeah, the trickster mage is awesome. Um, but I, but the trickster mage can like go in and like, it's like, it would be a scouting person. It could like, mm. Make yourself look like a giant and go in and like. You guys haven't seen the session? Yeah. Yeah. I, I did a one off to see if I. Okay. Are right, you guys going down the oh, plat? Yep. Presence to the Echo to Chiefs. victory! To the bowels of hell! Are you sure? The Echo Demon is also pretty awesome. It's good for caves. What do you think, Gabby? Go down the elevator or the stairs? Those guys didn't alert anybody. No. It's a bad idea. I never go for the stairs. I'm curious. No one is curious for why he's in the stairs? Oops. I think they go to the same place. We must see uh, a stairs before when they go down the check. I just need to load something and, ch and adjust it. So give me a sec. This is.
Come on. I want the full experience. If I can get it. I'm trying to. I've got this all this light, crazy lighting, and uh, I hope it works. But the map is really slow, <laughs> so. Here we go. It may take a while to load on your... <clears throat> See anything? I don't know if I'm supposed to see this wrong, but I see the arm and the leg of a robot, of a construct. I don't know if I'm supposed to see that. But you're you're you have a lighting, right? You see lighting? Yeah. 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 Oh, jeez! I just did something wrong. Oh, I just hit the wrong button. Okay. I haven't done the echo game yet. You see. Um, to the left, you're you're lighting you're you're lit up to the left, right? And you see the yep. chain, mm -hmm. and the two big the firehounds. Yep. And the dude behind them. Yep. Okay. You see them standing there looking at you, and they're these firehounds are huge. They're not regular sized firehounds. They're giant sized. And he's looking at you. Oh, the the dead ogre's there, so he knows you know. Kind of what's going on? The dead ogre. The he ate the food. No, the one that the fell. Well, he ate the food, but he he oh, dropped right. after you killed um, him. Um, is this Duke Zalto? Well, it's this guy. Are you Duke Zalto? I am. Oh, who oh. dares come into my realm? I say, Duke Zalto, you have much to answer for. Release Magar the Dawn Titan, or face the consequences. Yeah, do that. <laughs> you challenge me and my authority over fire. I am the true master of fire. So be it. You just see him. Dong. Just dong attack. And you see his firehounds just start. And you can hear the billowing roar of fire giants. <laughs> Zorto! <coughs> Dang it. All right, everybody, everybody stay on the elevator. No, <laughs> go back up. Yeah, right? <laughs> Quick, get the water. What's up? What's, what's, what's north of us? What do we see? There's a robot up there. Do you oh. see it, Sam? No. Oh yeah, this robot. It's a giant okay. one, but yeah. it's you can see right to the left of Zugzalto is Vonadod. You realize that's Vonadod. That's the chained up. Yeah, and it's okay. it's that's a titan. You you see like the large, maybe calf armor of it, the leg armor, you know, and and that's the size of the the giant. Now the over on the in the dining hall there is a, a huge iron uh, iron golem standing there, but it, it doesn't huh. seem to be moving, and, it, and that one, is, by the way, is bigger than the giants. Wow. Um, how big are these squares, Ron? Ten feet? Ten feet, yes. Okay. All right, let's all roll initiative. All right. Shall we? Time. There are five feet, these squares, based on the thing. Oh, but there's ten feet, yeah. I see. Yeah, okay. Because, because we're tiny boys. I got it. Cool. Awesome. What'd you get, Gabby? Oh, yeah! Wait, what is that? I can't tell what that is. 
No, Ron's just got an at 20. Fantastic. Oops. Are you doing initiative? Oh, God. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm not in the uh, turn order. None of us are. There's no more turns. Oh, this is the new map. Yeah, let me... Um, uh, uh, hey, Ron, uh, who's Philomena Harrington? My wife. Oh, okay. I was going to ask about that, too. Yeah. Well, she uses the Zoom more for work than I do. Or, you know, mm -hmm. and... Um, I mean, I could just change the name, but whatever. Was it was it that the whole time? Yeah. Well, like this it, just this just today. Oh, okay. Man, because of this lighting, the map is so freaking slow to on me. I know that dynamic lighting eats up, eats up a lot. Of I know it's damage. really lame that way because I really love using it. Yeah, I, it I might cool. have to turn it off though. This is almost unmanageable. Well, I also put in a lot of lights so that maybe that affects it too. But I, you know, I, I wanted lights for every little fire, you know. Yeah. That's cool, Ron. It's awesome. I think you did a great job. Yeah. Can I cast telekinesis before we go into uh, combat? That's part of your movement or action or whatever. But I maybe I put it on the on the as you're on the way down. I forgot. <laughs> Roll your. <laughs> you forgot. You know what? You're ninth level now. You you can't say I forgot, okay? Huh? And I know you study your character for hours on end. You can't you can't come into the game and say I forgot. <laughs> in the same action I cast it, I can use it, so it's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I gotta add you guys. Okay. Ugh, I just got Duke Zolto in there, and now it's frozen. I think I might have to turn his lighting off. Let's see how this goes. So you guys can see the whole map if I do that. And no lighting. So it's like a TV set or TV show if I have to turn the lighting off. We'll, uh, we can zoom in. Are we doing, uh, we got the... Uh, I'm slowly adding them. I'm just, I have to, everything's a delay. I think I'm going to have to turn the lighting off. I can't deal with this. Uh, so everyone zoom into that room, you know, or a little bit out from that room, okay? That's your okay. That's your limit. Try to limit yourself to what you can see, okay? okay. Like where Duke okay. Zalto is, kind of. Eh, you're gonna see in a room. You're gonna see a room. I don't want you to see though. Well, I, we I can see we can see as far as him, right? There's a fog of war in that room, Ron. I don't I don't know how to do that like on the John on Johnny on the spot kind of thing. Uh, it's not that I don't. Yeah, crap. Let me just. Move one thing. Put a uh, put a black square over it. Just draw a shape. Right. Uh, yeah. Black, okay. And then that over it. Hey, what's that black square over there? <laughs> it's not even that big of a deal. Uh, put put big ones. Just put big ones and just cover the areas we can see. Okay. Nobody okay. nobody look at the map real quick. Nobody just I don't know if you guys can avert thou eyes or minimize your thing for a sec. I, I gotta turn this light off and now. Okay. Let me just do it real quick. I'll try to, as long as it doesn't take too long. I'm all tapped. Yeah, this is not cool. Come on, open. All right, turning off the dynamic lighting, which sucks. That's nice. Okay, let me just do a couple of those black squares and then we'll. we'll, we'll uh... Okay, that's not. Oh, solid. One. Come on. Okay, real quick. Uh, black, black. Oh, no. But I can't see it either. <laughs> oh, well. I know what's there. All right. Go ahead and uh, just come back in. Just ch just zoom into that spot, though. Whatever. See, the lighting sucks now, right? <laughs> it's just like... Oh, yeah. That's lame. I'm, I guess maybe I just did too many lights. Yeah. I'll figure that out for the next one. Okay, do I get everybody? Not Gibby. 
All right, can you put in your um, initiative? Yep. There's no Gibby there. Oh. It's because you rolled so low, you don't get turns anymore. <laughs> Okay. All right, here we go. All right, he gets a he rolled an at twenty, so he gets an action. Um. Anyone else? No. No. What happens? He what? he gets to this chain and he hits it. Um. Oh, let me do the hounds on their own. This is the hellhound initiative. <laughs> right. Those two, you know, they're just they're just standing there growling at you, you know, like. And they're, they got fire and steam and smoke coming out of them. But he's banging his um, thing on his blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And, uh, great, I can't. Uh, just stay close. Stay zoomed in or whatever. He's banging his, like, uh, hammer on his iron? or Yeah, and he's, it's making a loud sound. So he's basically oh, okay. an it's alarm. Like gong or whatever. Oh, it's an alarm. All right, so uh, that was that's his turn. So now we go into the order. Velcro. All right. Uh, so we can see these beasts, and they're within our shooting range. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, 100, 100 feet and eight, uh, ninety. Are they feet? animals? Uh, I would say they're monstrosities. Let me see, or something. Why isn't this working? I'll cast a uh, a spike growth that nails both of them. What's the radius on that, uh, George? Uh, it's a, it's a sorry, it's my. I don't have my book. Sorry, not. You don't have your book. It's a Twenty foot radius. It's, it's over there. It's right there. <laughs> Cool, I got you. Something mm -hmm. like that. What are you doing, spikes? Like you cast yeah. On, on them, like, like right about there. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. And that's it. Like this thing? Is it a square? Oh. We'll pretend that's. It's a it's a radius, but yeah, it's, yeah. That's Was it supposed to be spike growth? Yep. Oh, yeah, it does two two d four piercing damage for every five feet that is moved within the. Uh... Okay. Cool. Well, you, I'll do that. Okay. It's twenty feet radius. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? Ash? Uh, no. George? Uh, George. George is gonna be like, Duke Zalto. Yeah, this is for my family. And he's gonna take a sharpshooter shot. You should start to shot that. What did I ever do to your family? 
Oh, I froze. <laughs> Dang it. Right at the moment of destiny. It was too emotional. Uh, I hear you. Wait, am I for? Can you, can you guys hear me? Don't you? Yeah, was, don't you know about Wi-Fi? Am I frozen? Am I frozen? You're okay now. You just you just came on. Oh okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't. I didn't want to say anything anyway, so it's okay. Yeah, he asked. Uh, I was just joking. He didn't say that, but anyway. Uh, he got a sixteen to hit. Do Zolto. Uh, his armor class is twenty. Full plate. Oh my god. Full right, so plate. My second shot. My second shot. I'm not gonna. No, I'm gonna start shoot again. This is bullshit. I'm definitely gonna hit this guy this time. Oh my god. I got a 17 again. Or uh, whatever. That's what I thought. Uh, okay, so uh, he's a little he's a little far away, so I missed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of uh, uh, just kind of move out of the way a little bit. Right over there. My turn. Uh, why? Okay. You guys hear doors open? It's opening. Oh, wait, 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 which way am I going? <laughs> I ain't going to go the right way. Okay. I may not know which way to go, but they do. Come on, move. What is that sound? <laughs> Duke the Duke the Duke. The Duke. The Duke has called us! Woo! It's actually a lot more scarier when we're not looking at the map and can't see them. Yeah, we can just hear it. The like, Duke! Oh. No, no! The Duke! Go, go, go! Well, at least they sound dumb, so that's good. <laughs> yes, I'm coming along too! Let us hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> it's like an aristocrat fire giant. <laughs> And I've got my calculator. I can't think of anything. I can't. That was lowbrow. Okay. Um, he pulls out a uh, slag of iron. Well, no, he's not by a forge. Darn it. He just pulls out a piece of metal and flings it at you. You know, from wherever. the You know, this whole place is like a smithing hall with stuff. And he just flings a piece of metal. Huge chunk of metal at you. At um, Look at all these cute little figures over here. It's just like a giant piece of metal just rolls through you guys. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, disadvantage. He's beyond sixty feet. Okay. It's gonna go towards. I guess we'll do it randomly. There's five of you, so six will be Ash. Um, uh, based on the turn order here. Um, uh, one. Two. George. <laughs> I'm just looking at the turn order and that's my random. Oh, you yeah. went for cover over there, huh? Yeah. All right, so you get plus two cover. So he kind of flings it towards you and it hits, you know, the wall here. And, um, you know, smashes up against the column. But whatever damage it does to you, if it does any. So he's at disadvantage. So 16. Uh, it's a miss. Okay. Just, just... You know, avalanche of metal and stone f coming off the brick just, you know, lands around you. Um, You'll have to do better than that. Oh, shrapnel. Ten foot radius. Dex 15 with cover. Ten foot ra... Just you. You you get yeah. the... Yeah, that shrapnel. 15... Dex 15 plus, plus two because you're cover. Uh, that's a pass. Pass, okay. Like 20, 20 yeah. Something. But you guys all see this just slam of, you know, shred of stone and the, and the big metal. Clang, clang! I mean, it just passes you guys by. All right, so the Hellhounds. Oh, no, the Hellhounds have their own turn. So, Amantha. 
far away is this demon? He's a. Uh, he's a. Uh, yeah, that. Uh, 160 feet. No, no, that's correct. 85. Oh, that's. I don't know if that's correct. It's, this is. Uh, this says this is five feet. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought I got that right. So if these are each of these squares are 10 feet, then this should be doubled. Okay, yeah. All right, I guess, yeah. Okay, so double the range, I, I didn't realize that. Double the range, so he's 160 feet away. So uh, my agonizing blast can only go 120 feet, so I can't shoot for that. Um, well, this should move up 30 feet. But if you hit the hellhounds and they move through the spike growth, they'll take extra damage. Should I slam the hellhounds out of the spike growth? Sorry, I'm trying not to shoot that up, Spike growth and Elvis Blast is a great combo. But like, if I knock them out, they'll, they'll get they'll take damage. Uh, for every five feet they move, they take two d four damage. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'll knock them through the spike growth. All right, I'll agonizing blast these guys. One hit, one and one. One each. Yeah. Armor class, uh, fifteen. Hit the button. It's gonna go in a second. <laughs> I will. I hit it. We hit it again. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, we'll take the second one. Fourteen. Well, so, you need a fifteen. I need a fifteen. So I did. I miss. And I miss in the second. Oh yeah. So I hit 26. the second. All right. For seven force damage. So see the second one it gets knocked ten feet back. And seven damage? Yeah, that's it. And then uh, and then he takes forty four damage from spike group. And I'm gonna move uh ten I'm gonna move up here so I'm I'm hidden by this wall. Velcro, do you wanna roll the damage the spike rope damage? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, before you do that oh, it was okay. Go ahead, yeah. Go ahead. You roll it? All right. So did you fall, you said? Well, that's twice, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's twice because it, that's for every five feet. So 12. 12. Okay. Yeah, you see him. And he's just getting torn up in his paws. and He's kind of confused by that, too. He's like, ha! Let me see what his role, what he's, his, uh... All right, he's kind of, ah, he leaps. All right, he's going to leap. But, uh, Raziak. Okay, um, Raziak, I'm going to move. Oh, is that it, Amanta? Yeah. Okay, Raziak. That's all I can do. Uh, did I lose? Oh, no, there we go. Uh, I'm going to move Raziak up just behind this pole, this pillar. Column, huh? And I'm going to cast my spiritual weapon up uh, beside that first uh, hellhound or whatever it is, firehound. Some of my spiritual weapon. Yes! Two. I summon the flaming blade of Kosuth! <laughs> it's to scale, uh, too. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. It's very, very wieldy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to summon it right beside the wolf. Wolf, and I'm summoning Ding. it as a fourth. Ding. I'm summoning it as a fourth level spell, so it's going to do two uh, d eight. On this one or this one? Uh, the the top one. Yeah, and then I make um I got to make a spell attack to hit him, so I get two attacks on this cast. Uh, plus nine. It's animation. So. Can okay. you see it turning? No, I think you. Have, no. no, I can't. Yeah, now I do. It's only when you stop. Uh. Yeah, now I now I do. It's like uh. stop motion. And I was I was wigging it back and forth, but oh well. Uh, so first attack. Uh, Twenty five. How's that? Does that hit? Yeah, I need fifteen. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna second attack. Could be easier for me to do damage. Uh, Twenty. Yeah. So, Two hits. Yep. Uh, so 4d8 plus 10. So 27 damage, force damage. 
Ow. Total? Is that it? Uh, and then I'll cast his sacred flame. Um, yeah. Okay. That's it, right? No, no. Do you, do you hear my second one? Sacred. Like he's got, yeah, sacred flame. He's got save DC 18. Wait, he can do two spells? So one's a cantrip, the other one's a bonus spell. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he saved? Nice. So he takes half. No, wait, I think it's nothing. Yeah, I think it's nothing. I'm pretty sure it's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. Right. Um, and then that's it for Raziek. Gibby? Um, I can move 60 feet, no? Uh, I, just move? I don't know. what. Yeah, what do you have for... What's your movement? 30? Yeah. And do you have other stuff? Yeah, I have um, 20 from the cape. Do you want to use the cape? That's the bonus or something? I can go. Yeah. I can go from the cape to attack quickly. So 50, might be too 50 feet is yeah. here. You can throw your axe, but it would be in. It would. It would land in here. No. Yeah. Okay. My thing. So these these guys are wolf. What? They're like giant hellhounds or firehounds. Um, this guy's wrong. Not yet. Okay. Oh. So I'm okay. gonna. The scale is correct now. It's possible. Oh, cool! How'd you do that? That's awesome. In the maps, you can uh, you can set. Okay, cool. The yeah. Um, Gibby wants to know if she can sneak to this uh, here edge here. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do a dodge? Do you want dodge? Um, I want to go in brace just in case. Okay. In case you get a hit. Are you, are you doing well, this with friends? You have to you have to be in combat to do the oh, you have to be in combat for rage. Oh, okay. You can't just you know wait and wait for it, yeah. Okay, wait. Alright. Uh, do you wanna do dodge? Yeah, you can do dodge. Okay, do dodge. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> okay. Um Can you do the thing on that weapon? All right, this guy moves up, and yes, he takes damage. And so does this. He comes around, though, the side. He can see what's going on with those spikes. But he takes the full damage, would it be... Every, is it every five feet? Yeah. So five of them. I'm going to roll this guy's uh, agility... All right, this is the guy's going to take uh, two. He still gets a bit of it. So, Velcro, can you give me five D four or what is it? Oh, ten D four. Yeah. Ten D four, Velcro. As the Hellhound um, leaps and bounds through the spikes. Thirty one. Now he's like, ah, 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 and. He, uh, and then 2d uh 44 4d4 4 for the other guy 12 okay 12 to have um okay this one goes for all right <laughs> Let me do that again for the fun of it. <laughs> oh no, is it attacking me? He's farting fire. <laughs> yeah, really, I can't. I know I can't flip the dang token. Like it won't let me flip it. Let's see. All right. He's he's facing the other way. Use your imagination, Jeff. 
Although farting fire is very imaginative, I will say. <laughs> All right. Um, DC 12 decks. You two. Amantha you and... George. George, I'll give you plus two for cover. So 10 decks wow. save. Let me throw... 10 decks. I got a... Eight. <laughs> what's, what's your decks? I think I can, I can use one of my skills. Uh, oh, you rolled a five, huh? Let's take that net 20. How about that? That's fine. <laughs> you should just turn that off because it's so it's confusing. I, you, I'm pretty sure you can turn it off. You can make it, you can make it on my character sheet so that I can turn it off, but you haven't done that yet. You can do that. I can do that? Yeah, you can do that. You have, I, but I can't turn it off unless you do it. You have to do it oh. like in the... Not in the game, but when you like log into yourself. Really? Like, That's weird. The game before you start the game, you go to the game settings and you can say turn on the advantages of every moment. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Okay. I mean, I didn't know it was there. Yeah. And uh, but otherwise, I can do that. So, I guess I failed, but I'll use my hellish rebuke. Who cares? What's what's the deck save? Ten. Ten. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, so take. Oop, no, that's wrong. Wrong. Ignore that. Take uh, this full or, or half. You know. Oh. Twenty-one. Take ten for George. Twenty-one for Amanta. Yeah, like and then this guy, um, he still comes up, and he goes for either Gibby or Raziak. One, two, Gibby. Raziak. Is this a spell he's casting on me? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you say versus a 10 because you have cover as well. Okay. Oops. That one just came out of nowhere. Uh, my decks. So. Is this a spell or I guess it's just like a Fire breath. natural yeah, natural ability, not spell though? Yeah, I got 26. All right. This right here is your tears. Your guys' My tears? Your guys' tear all of your tears. Oh, okay. For the upcoming battle. Tears are flowing. Uh, <laughs> tears of rage. <laughs> tears of fear. That was awesome. Alright. So you have resist fire. Oh you're invulnerable. Are you invulnerable to fire? Well, because I saved and I got my shield master now, then I don't take any damage. Oh. Are are you invulnerable to fire though? I'm resistant. I wish I was involved. Okay. Oh, is that what you took away or something? I can't remember what you took away. No, I took away... Oh, whatever. Uh, it was like... Yeah, it was like re-roll ones. All right. Velcro. And twos. Yeah. Right. All right, so they've escaped the spikes, huh? Yeah. Well, they didn't escape. They just went through them and took damage. <laughs> well, it doesn't keep... It doesn't hold them, right? It's just damage. Yeah. 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 Oh, it might... Hmm. Sorry, it might be uh, difficult terrain. Difficult terrain, yeah. Oh, let me see what their movement is, because they're yeah. Sorry, that's my fault. I forgot. I forgot about that. It is difficult terrain, yeah. Well, I'm not sorry. Uh, uh, that's fine. We can just we'll, we'll yeah. We'll play it next time. Sorry, I'm not taking away your damage. I did you guys. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah, it's my fault. Um, all right, I'm gonna take a uh, arrow shot at the top one. Okay. Seventeen. Um, uh, yeah, hit fifteen armor class. Uh, seven damage. Don't want to do that. Um. Yes. Okay. And then all of a sudden you guys hear Cuckoo! <laughs> <laughs> all right, another creature to the turn table on the turn. Uh, <laughs> turn order. A greater giant bald eagle. Goes and attacks that same guy. Oh, I need to pull out a giant eagle. 
equip stats. Because of the space in there, I'm gonna he's gonna be pretty limited. Just so you know. I'm gonna give him some uh, Yeah, you know what? Alright, well, let's let's do the wolf. Let's do the wolf instead. It's a better idea. Yeah, do a wolf. Uh do like wolf pack. Wolf pack, right. Hell yeah. Alright. So uh You got the stats for that, right? Yeah. So Okay, plus seven to hit, so twenty-one to hit. Where are they going? Oh, against that top, top one. Okay. Top guy. They all swarm around him, and it's uh. You you can control it too. Forty-four. Oh, there we are. Forty-four plus four. Dumb damage. Twelve. All right, he's then, working. Uh, DC 14 strength or get knocked prone? Not prone. Hi. <laughs> Bit of a squeal. Um, I forget, they just get one attack? Yeah. yeah, but it's the plus seven. Yeah, all right. Otherwise, we'd be here all night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, right. and then well, we're going to be here all night anyway, because now Ash is <laughs> 50 feet of movement and goes after well, the same guy. Let's kill this kid. You're just a horde of dogs and a lizard got all swarming. The all right, uh, that's a hit. And it's going to be 2d6 plus 6. These are a little too big. Twelve. Dead. Blah. Hell yeah. Just tearing it up. They're in the way. All right, Velcro, are you moving or anything? Uh, I'll do bonus action dash and just like, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll come over here, and now I'm done. George. All right, George. Uh, he's going to pop out from the cover. Uh, and he is going to fire his arrow of targeting at uh, Duke Zolto. Okay. Oh my god! Net oh, one? It's so hard to hit. Double one? <laughs> no, no, I got a I got an 18 to hit. <laughs> Boo! All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my sharpshooter shot because I know this one's gonna hit. My I get two attacks. How much? 20. <laughs> I got uh 15. This is not a time to choke, George. This is not the time to choke. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, DM to player this is not the time to choke. <laughs> hey, somebody's got to roll bad, and it's me. So. He well, he stomps forward. Do do do. I just had to get above it. All right. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> he throws. Um, oh, wait, and I move back. And I, I yeah. move back behind cover. He throws. Um, so I have more movement. He throws a big f iron thing at the um, the wolves. Well, Right, I'm, I'm gonna do a random between the wolves and Ash. Well, there's yeah. there's a bunch of them, so uh, if I roll a one, it's Ash, and the others are the wolves. Not roll it's, one. Ash. <laughs> it's Ash. <laughs> All right, big iron thing flings at him. Seventeen. Eighteen. Wow. Um, but everyone there still has to save versus shrapnel or shrapnel rather shrapnel. Next save. Huh? Oh, Dex said, yeah. Um, 14, I think, what I said. Uh, so one roll for... Um, 15, 15. One roll for Ash and one roll for... For, for the, yeah, the wolves. This is for Ash. He gets advantage on all saves. Uh, I guess he fails. Is it a five and a four? Yeah, and then... 
They fell. They fell. Fifteen. Well. So it's a it's an area effect because it's a shatter, you know, <laughs> explosion of a brick. Um, yeah. So they're gonna take double damage. Yes. The damage is two d ten plus seven. And he just Ash just takes this uh, eleven. Ash takes eleven, and they take uh, uh, twenty-two. Mm. All right, you know, just I mean, there's an explosion. He, he missed Ash, but that the metal just hit and just breaks, and the metal, you know, sprays the area. And it's loud. It's just like, you hear the wolves all, you know, ar, 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 you know, some, a couple of them get Maybe. get torn apart. Uh, let me do the other. All right. You see this door burst open up at the top. I don't know if you can actually see it, but you, you see a bunch of ogres coming through. And ogres. orcs. Thought, Fire yeah. ogres. Okay. Oh, you hear the other ones coming. Don't when worry. When you say up top, where is Here, there? I'll show you. Like north or the other room? No, no, I'm sorry. North. Just, just the. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It yeah. came. They're come. They're coming through, slamming through. Uh, you, well, you can't really see them that you know because you're behind those walls there. But yeah, but that's good. I know where they are. Yeah, but that's where they're coming from. You gotta kill Zalto before his reinforcements come. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I know what you guys are doing. Okay. Um, is it for me? Um, can you remind me of the damage again? Please? Uh, 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 22 for the wolves and 11 for Ash. Amanta. Alright, I'm gonna... Uh... I'm gonna cast my my armor darkness. I'm gonna smash my armor and just darkness myself up. Wait, didn't you say you're gonna do a hellish rebuke or something? I lost one. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die, so I'm not gonna do that. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna smash my. I'm gonna do my darkness. That's my action. But then with my bonus action, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna run 15 feet out here. Only 15. And then I'm within 15 feet. I think of this guy. Yeah, right? that's fine. And I'm him, which I have an advantage to hit. Darkness. Oh, you have your darkness going? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I get a 21. Okay. And yeah, it has to make a DC 15 dexterity save or have disadvantage on this attack. Take 10, though. 10. Yeah. Does it, did he make it? 15, yeah. What, it was a, it's a dex say, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's good. 16. I'm going to run back in my hidey hole over here. But you have a darkness on you? Yeah, I'm going to put it all through. I think you could do it with the... Um, remember, do it with the token aura down below? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Raziak? All right, Raziak, kind of filled with religious fervor. Uh, you sense the... You sense fire, a powerful fire nearby. Oh. Very I walk up from behind the pillar and I yell, Duke Salto, you sacrilegious worm, come and face me. I am the true fire lord. <laughs> uh, and then I cast uh, I cast armor faith on myself, my god to protect me. And let's see how far away. I don't even think I can, even from here, I don't think I can hit him. A little bit more. Okay, I can 10, 20. Yeah, you can move to here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so from here, I'm going to cast a Sacred Flame on Mr. Zalto. He's got to give me a deck save of 18. Oh. Yes. Double damage. He feels the true divine light, the true flame. Oh. 
All right, he gets showered in divine light for 32 damage. Ah, yeah, he's like, ah, he sort of smacks him in the face or something. Yes. Um, uh, and that's it for Raziak. Roll well, your intimidation. Uh, okay. I don't have very good intimidation. Uh, yeah, I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Tab. I am the true fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm not a threat. He doesn't have to worry about me. Fooey on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gibby. Okay. <laughs> now I go in my rage. And I'm going to attack this. Um, yep. Hellhound? Hellhound! Hellhound! Wait. Are you, do you I see that? Do you see that? No. No. Do you see that? What? See that? Do you see I that? I don't see anything. Oh, it's coming up. Sun's coming up now. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Hellhound! Are <laughs> uh, these count as giants? No, they're big, but they're not giants. Right, but yeah, just watch it. So it's not a giant. Okay. I'm gonna attack this guy. I'm gonna do Frenzy and Rackalus. Go ahead. Oh. Draw that. Yeah. I have uh, Vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> Frenzy and Reckless. Yeah. Twenty-three. Uh, yeah, that, I guess twenty-three hits. Twenty-three. All right. Yeah. Do you want to just roll? Do you want? To, do you want her to roll all her attacks at once and then do the damage after? No, it's fine. Okay. I can. It's fine. Do me do them in order. Okay. Uh, I'll take the baby. So I get twenty-three. Plus nine, plus two, so 18, 20. 20? Oh, you didn't do Great Weapon Master. Oh. That's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> Next time. There's like 10 things to remember. So 20 damage? Yeah, 20 slashing damage. Oh. All right, that's, you pretty, yeah, you're hacking. It's like, ah, it's, it's pretty messed up. All right, my turn? Okay, go to second. Uh, no. Oh. Oh, he's his son? Again? Th was this the third one? This is the second one. Uh, 19. So, Plus 19. 11. Wait, I just took off damage from before. I took off damage twice. No, no, no. She only did only one. She only hit. She hit once. It was 20 damage. Just now? Yeah. Oh, what was the what was it before that? She did. That was that was her to hit. Oh. <clears throat> I was asking if it hit the AC. Okay, so that's a hit. I what you did. Uh, 18 damage. Get one more. Wait, one more? What do you mean, one more? I'm confused. Funny. Her frenzy's her third hit. Third, oh, okay. Eight, eight, 17? 17? Dead. No, 19. Dead 19 either way. Damage. Yeah. Nice. Dead. You killed it. Did You're you? You're a murderer. So you only moved uh, like ten feet. You want to move twenty more feet? Uh, yeah, more. I want to move. Um, I can. I can. Oh yeah. Um, I can move like 20, 20 feet, like here. Yeah. Let me just. Yeah, you see the spikes okay. though. Okay, who's next? Yeah, uh, wanna, Velcro. Wanna... Good turn. High five. And without my weapon master. Okay. Oh, you know what? Uh, when I when I did this wolves, the uh, the pit, the spike growth disappears. Oh, it does? Oh, okay. Does this sword go too? Raziak? No, I've got that for six turns. Oh. Or um, what, what? How long is one minute? Ten turns? Yeah. So minus eight, eight more turns. So you didn't use it last turn, you know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm sorry, Velcro. Go ahead. All right. So first off, 
kind of come here and I'll take a shot at him. Let's go. Has he done anything? Yeah, he has, right? All right, that's a miss. Huh. I guess, um, I'm gonna get back on Ash. We'll come on to like over here. So the riding wolf, ash? Wolf, yeah, and the wolf's speed is... It's like 50. 40 feet? 40 feet, yeah. So, 10, 40, yeah, right about here. That's pretty much it. That's all I got. Okay, George. See him scurrying across the columns, past the behind the columns there, scurrying along. George, you coward! George, you muted, by the way. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so George's gonna peek out from behind the darkness, take a breath, center <laughs> himself, go all zen, and take a sharp shooter shot at Duke freaking Zolta. Be a miss. Uh, this will just be a regular shot just because he wants to actually do some damage. All right. <laughs> Here's somebody typing. What? Not muted anymore, right? What? There you go. What would you, what'd you get? Uh, I got a 21 to hit. Okay. Wait, did you guys hear the first one too? No, I didn't I hear anything. I the first shot and I took a second shot. Yeah, yeah, I got that, yeah. Oh my god, I was frozen for so long. Frozen for so long. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do... I, I missed my first shot, but my second shot was not a sharp shooting shot. Right. Uh, and it hits with 21. 21 hits. 21 damage? I haven't done. Have you done? No, Twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one to hit. Okay. No, I'm rolling a damage. Right okay. Now. And that nice. Okay, max damage. Now we're talking. Uh, eight and seven is fifteen plus four, nineteen damage. Okay. Man, I thought it was a sharp shooter. Though. Okay, everybody, a fourteen con save. Oh, and I move. It's uh, heat. I move back. Oh, for heat, for exhaustion or whatever? Yeah, just for heat. The heat in here. Um, uh, Raziak doesn't have to do it. he got that fire resistance. And anybody else has fire resistance. I can't hear you, Vel Jeff. What does it save? 14. 14 cons. Does Gibby... So Gibby has to save? Yeah. Yeah. Gibby, you got to save. Uh-oh, Manta. I have ring of fire resistance. Okay. Bye. You gotta save. You're getting hit. Constitution save. I can still use my lucky to roll another one. Is it what is it? Just exhaustion? Constitution. Yeah, it'll give you a level of exhaustion. So you be at yeah. disadvantage all your uh, regular, not your fighting, but your regular rolls. Yeah, you got it. Uh, Gibby got Six. Gibby got a twenty, not a dirty twenty. Okay. What are you gonna I'll do, Malta? Yeah, okay, that's fine. I just have a disadvantage on ability check? Yeah. Okay. Like, like, keeping darkness. That's a constant. <laughs> Do I have disadvantage on concentration checks? Uh, yeah, that's a regular check, I think. Uh-oh. Just gonna tackle the same thing as we have. Ooh. All right, it's fine. Okay. Um, Duke Zalto's turn. All right. He growls, he sees those wolves. He sees Ash Ash on his or Velcro on Ash. He sees the little gnome. He sees Raziag yelling at him. So, kind of in some weak weakling fashion. 
coming through his dead pets. Uh, he's angry. He's really angry. Let's see. Uh, the wolves. He, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna say the wolves are one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. <clears throat> oh, six. Gibby. Hmm. <clears throat> You see him stopping over, just steps over, st stomps uh, into the wolves, and then at, at Gibby he throws a piece of a, another piece of metal at you, <laughs> some hot piece like a, a wrench or a hammer that he's that's laying there. Oh my Shh. god! You just see it coming at you like you know, <laughs> clang clang clang, and it's like a think of like a uh, a couch, you know, or a refrigerator, come you know. <laughs> Getting thrown at you. Um, the the wolves, real quick, have to <laughs> save versus a DC 19. Jeff? Where'd he go? Where's Jeff! My sheet is 16. No, no, no. Where is he? Oh, no. Jeff! <laughs> oh. Uh, 19 dex, uh, save. Uh, dex, on. I guess, for, for the wolves. Has Gibby got to dodge it too? No, no. Oh, okay. Not her yet. Okay. Nice, Jeff. No? So take... Um, they all get kind of stomped on and thrown. So take two... No, I saved. Yeah. Oh, you did save. Oh, okay. All right, they just kind of move out of the way. I mean, they're just right next to them. Uh, Gibby, though, the... Yeah, the, the, the thing flies at you. So let me roll the hit. Which armor class? Uh... Uh, I cast I cast flare on his eyes. <laughs> Warding flare. Her armor class is sixteen. 17. Wait, her armor class is sixteen or seventeen? Seventeen. Okay, well he missed, but you wouldn't know that, right? So warding flare. <laughs> well, he's got roll again. He might roll one. Yeah, right, fine. I mean, it's up to you. No, that's you... fine. I don't mind. Okay, so he missed, um, but you, uh, Gibby, you still have to save versus the, the shrapnel. The explosion of shrapnel. Oh, 10 foot radius. Let me see if Ash has to. Yeah, Ash and Velcro. Oh, and Raziak, all of you. <laughs> all right, the save uh, is 15. Yeah, I saved. Raziak saved. You got to roll your dex advantage. 15. Yeah, you save. You want to roll again, see if you get a 20? Uh, Jeff and Ash save 15 decks. Oh, no! Gibby got a 20 and a 19. Okay. Why two wow. rolls? Because she has uh, advantage, advantage on deck saves. She can see. Yeah. You can move 20 feet in, in any direction, Gibby. You can move yeah. 20 feet. Velcro pass. Oh, okay, go for Velcro pass? Okay. Can you zoom in? You're so far away. <laughs> zoom in this thing, man. And you pass? Okay. Yeah. Alright, hold on, let me um Here comes some ogres. Duke Salto What would we have come out if we had just taken the stairs? In Duke Salto's bedroom. Yeah. All righty, Amantha. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, we'll go for another 15 minutes. Man. Hell yeah. So the stairs are back up at the top. Oh, man. <sighs> All right, well, that's cool. All right, well, I am going <laughs> to... These guys are closer. Anything crazy? Oh, Ron, I have a question for you. These chains, if I use telekinesis, uh, would I be able to rip these chains from their moorings? No. No, no. they're pretty strong. Yeah. They're, they're stronger than a thousand pounds. No, there's pl you know what? There's plenty of things around for you to get a thousand pounds, like metal laying around. You know what I mean? Bits and pieces yeah. of ink, you know, because it's like a workshop and you just got stuff everywhere. It doesn't show it here, but it is. Right, 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 right. But um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna jump out and jump out of my hidey little hidey hole and ba bast him with two agonizing blasts. Okay. He's, he's, armor class is 20. That hit then, 20? <coughs> well, 
the the first roll. I'm only counting the first roll, right? 17? No, 20. I, I have advantage because I'm in the dark. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Okay, yeah, right. Sorry. 20 hit? Yep. Yeah. All right. That knocks him for 8 damage. And then the next one. Oops, miss. So he's yeah. not knocked 10 feet back. Trips over that chain. chain. No, that would have been the second hit. What? <laughs> yeah, he was right here. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. yeah. Hey, don't move him back too far. My sword can't move that far. <laughs> He's pretty big. Okay, anything else, Samantha? Yeah, I'm just going to run back in my hidey hole. <laughs> <laughs> are you? I thought you guys are giant slayers. Here you're all like all running and hiding. And stuff. All right. I only have two spell slots. Raziak. <laughs> all right, uh, this is Raziak. I'm going to move uh, 10, 20, 30, just so I'm kind of over here. And is I guess Raziak I... that while he's moving? Is he what? Does he say that while he's moving? Yeah, he's going 10, it's he's counting every yet. step. I'm moving. <laughs> One, 20, 30. Uh, I yelled to him, Duke Zolto, surrender now, and maybe me and my god will be merciful on you. And then I attack him with my sword. Uh, go Who is that guy? That's what he says. Who's that dude? Man? I'm your oh, new god. Uh, that's a miss. It's, mm, that's also a miss. So you see a then, huge flame in there, and this huge in him, and this huge. Oh, sorry. Can you see this? I can't. Oh, okay. Inside there, this is a huge the adamantine forge, right? My adamantine baby. is the strongest metal in this. In adamantine. Adamantine, yeah. Yeah. And um, it's got you know you can see though there's sort of a window or whatever, and there's this huge flame in there. And you know it is a the flame. It is. Uh, let me see if I can. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to cast a sacred flame on him. He's got a deck save me on an eight. Can I use telekinesis to open the door of that 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 forge? Um. Uh, uh, it's a good question. Uh, you'd have to know how to, you know, understand the latchings of it to open well, it. Yeah. So you'd have to just be able to perceive like wh how to open it, and then you I can either, I could either rip it off its hinges or try to open it like with a latch because the telekinesis can do fine control as well. Yeah. So you roll your. I would say you'd have to examine it, which you'd have to get a bit closer. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Razak. What... Oh yeah, he's got to give me a deck save of eight. Nope. Okay. And I smash him with 19 radiant damage. Okay, he's not liking you. Okay. Nope. Gibby? That's it for me. Uh oh. Um, I want to climb on the legs of this guy. I'm going to do acrobatic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And and I gonna attack him uh, with bro my great 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 no great great what, what is great, great weapon great master weapon master hey you got it <laughs> and reckless and reckless so first I do a chromatic okay oh. plus. Yeah. But I have a yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the first one. 15 plus 8. There's over 20, right? Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. You, you, so you got 23. Okay, so you get advantage to the next um, attack. I should have advantage anyway, but... <laughs> okay. It's like you yeah. surpassed the acrobatics. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Two. Oh. Twice. This is 16. Yeah, that was both hit. Yeah. Plus. Yeah, that's a hit. She hit. Uh huh. Twenty five. She got damage. Or twenty five. Uh, no, no, okay. that's just a yeah. Okay. Oh, and this guy's a giant, so that's two d twelve. Seven five. So twelve. So what's that? Fourteen or uh, twelve? Twelve. Twelve plus four. Fourteen. 23, 23 plus 10, 33 damage. Yeah, 
miss. Okay, it's probably a miss. Uh, 12 plus... What's here to hit? 12 plus 12 is 24. Y'all, that's a miss. 24 minus 5, that's a miss. I've never seen Gibby miss. Dang. That's a hit. We'll try one more time, though. No. Uh, so that's a hit. Yeah, one more time. So 10, that's 10, 20, that's 9, 9, 31 damage. Wow. She's a monster. My, 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 my monster. Uh, and that's it. I don't think you can do anything else. Velcro. No, I'm, oh, um, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Look at what I am. I climbed it. Yeah. <laughs> Velcro. All right. Bow and arrow at the, at the guy. One need a hit. Uh, 15 damage. Wolf pack attack. Ow! Uh, I believe that's a hit. 22. Dang. Pause. Okay. 44. Nine. Oh, they're okay. supposed to be getting advantage on these attacks too because of pack tactics. Oh, yeah. I'll just, <clears throat> but I'll, I'll, well, roll to see if you get a nat 20. Okay, now uh, Ash's attack and he has attack tactics with them. Nah, that's a miss. Bummer. All right, I'm done. All right. I suppose Velcro will circle around toward Raz. All right. Okay. Done. No, stay away from me. I'm trying to get away from AOEs. <laughs> George? Alright, George is gonna poke his head out and take uh two he's gonna take a sharpshooter shot. Uh which will be uh twenty exactly. Uh and that will be 21 damage. Oof. And he's gonna take another sharpshooter shot. Oh my god, I need this hit. Come on, man, you can do it. Yeah, that's a hit. Damn. 22. <laughs> 22 damage? Or no, sorry. Not 22. 22 damage. to hit, yeah. Yeah, 22 to hit. And 21 damage. Oh, so close. Whew. My turn. <laughs> uh, no, I move back. Hey, Sam. Uh. All right, he turns and runs. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who gets free hits here? Gibby. Okay, Gibby. Free hit or strike. No advantage. Okay, free hit. Yeah, of course. It's one regular swing. Uh, yep, that's a hit. Oh, no, I'm having a bad night. My hubris. Oh. One plus nine plus two. Nine. Yeah, that's true. Uh, eight, nine plus nine, eight, plus two. 20 damage from Gibby. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? 
No oh. way. No way. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. No. I wanted to. I wanted to kill him. Dang! I sh why did I charge in? I am dead, this guy. I mean, hey, you get to kill the boss without having to fight any of his underlings. It's amazing. I know, right? Oh, they're coming. They're still coming. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Uh, roll. Um, and there's five more of them somehow. Roll. <laughs> roll. Your um, decks to dodge the fall. Uh, 19. 19 decks. Who saw those like, that was just my first form. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I, Dex, that was yeah, my fault. Dex. Double. Because he was going to leave and then I had him charge because I felt confident. Plus, what does she need? 19? 19 decks. Yeah, she saves. All right, the Wait, wolves and the ash as well. Oh, sorry. Uh, Gibby does not save. Gibby does not save. Okay. Take this. Oh. Oh, 29. And then she has it. Oh. So 14 damage. It does less because I'm on range. What's, yeah, yeah. What'd you so roll, Jeff? Oh, you're safe? Five. You save for Ash? And the wolves? To uh, take twenty nine crushed wolves. All right, we'll end it here, I guess. The fall of Zalto. Yeah. So, Amantha, you're up next. Can I just do one thing? Oh wait, sorry. Kick? Wait, wait. Let me let me move the other guys. Noob Zalto's fallen. <laughs> Noob Zalto. We're taking forever to get there. <laughs> These guys should feel embarrassed. They just let their king die. Can I do one thing? It's not an attacker. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Raziak runs over and spits on Duke Zalto and says, I am the Lord of Fire. <laughs> and that's it. Inspiration point for you. <laughs> Got too Raziak. many already. Raziak, try to take his flame from him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My hand. Uh, she she stole your glory. Gibby becomes the fire goddess. <laughs> Raziak casts resurrection on Duke Zalto. <laughs> Gibby yeah, stands dead. Yeah. Gibby stands on Duke Zalto and her eyes suddenly become scale? flames. <laughs> fire barbarian. It's a new subclass. Uh, fire barbarian. It's a new my phone's my phone's shutting down, so I gotta go by. Oh, Good night. Hey. We can search this guy before the other guys even get there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They're almost Short there. Rest. They're coming. Oh, All right. <laughs> wow. That I'm. I need to learn to be a better fighter. <laughs> All right, guys. We're we gonna make these guys demon infused. Ah, oh, gee. I, I totally thought he was gonna come and just start hurting you guys, and then they'd get there. But they were taking forever to get there. All right. Good night. Thanks, See ya. Hey, great work on those dogs. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank you, Ron. You're welcome. Good game, everyone.